So then we have the network. Um, so bandwidth and internet speed is, is measured in megabits per second, and how much you need really depends on how you use your network. Um, so one megabyte, which is the measurement for file sizes, equals eight megabits. It can get kind of confusing with the nomenclature, but what that means is at, on a one megabit per second connection, it takes a one megabyte file eight seconds to download. So that sort of information, um, it, they can add up when you think about this, this type of data we have running on our Wi-Fi and our networks at home. Um, so things like smart devices, streaming media, browsing your social media, though, all those things can add up. So um, I put a, a couple of examples here on the slide. Um, streaming on a 4K TV requires 25 megabits per second. Um, teleconferencing can require anything anywhere between 2 to 15 megabits per second. Uploading to social media or live streaming um, and browsing social media can take anywhere between 2 to 10 megabits per second. And then things like your, your smart thermostats or home security cameras, those take eight mega, six, sorry, six megabits per second each. So if you have all those things running at the same time and if you have multiple people using your internet, those things can really add up. Let's say that you have um, a child who's, who's teleconferencing with their teacher and you have a teleconferencing media and then someone else is in the other room streaming Netflix on, their, on your 4K TV. Um, you have to kind of add all those things up. So if you're you want to you want to look at what you have um, from your ISP from your internet service provider, um, and you may um, want to consider upgrading or downgrading if you find that you don't use uh, that much internet um, or that much bandwidth. Um, but something like a seventy five megabit per second um, for a lot of modern homes doesn't quite meet the bill, especially when um, people are working remotely and working from home. You can um, you can run a speed test. Um, easily from to, to kind of find out what your average upload and download speeds are and that can kind of give you an idea um, of, of what your needs may be. Um, you should run it at different times of the day when you're doing different things um, if you want to get a handle of it. But there's there's two sites that we recommend. Uh, speedtest.net gives you an average upload and download speed um, and then fast.com gives you average download speeds only. Um, and so you want to make sure that your router can handle the bandwidth that you need. So ideally, um, we recommend that you don't have any more than eight, or sorry, 10 devices per access point. And if internet speed is your only consideration, um, then having a wired ethernet connection to your modem is best. But if you, if you need to be mobile, if you need to move around your home, if you don't, if you're if your modem is in the basement and you want to be on the main floor, then that may be, not be the, same, the best option, unless you can kind of run an ethernet cable um, through your home, which um, um, I'd say that a lot of people don't necessarily um, want to do that. <laughs>